I'm glad you can hear birds. I hope um, that you can't hear my stomach <laughs> because it's been squeaking. Oh, that's just a bit off. I'm just trying to figure out. I've got my um, iPad in front of me so I can uh, see any comments. <laughs> but my tummy's making funny noises. But uh, yeah, if you can hear the birds, you might be able to hear my tummy when it squeaks as well. I've already started um, the outline because um, it's very hard to see the pencil on the uh, on the camera. But I could probably zoom in a little bit. Let's see. Yeah. So I'll just finish on <coughs> finish doing the outlines. Sometimes I don't do outlines at all, but if I'm doing a live stream, it's usually good to have them in there so you're not looking at a blank piece of paper. <laughs> um So yes, I am a bit slower at um, painting and talking when I'm painting. <laughs> so if you ask questions, I will do my best to paint at the same time as answering them, but I'm still not very good at that. This little guy, all, all my monsters, I've done the little, um, I've done the sketches on my iPad, because then it's, it's quicker. Um, I do prefer real pencil, but yeah, I've got quite into using the iPad. Um, and this little guy is called Hank, and he was named by one of my patrons. I've just seen two more people. Hello, Isabel. Hello, Karina. And hello, Mandelier. Didn't say hello, did I? It's not very good. How is everyone this evening? Or oh, sorry, not always. It's not this evening for everyone. Um, it's been so hot here today. Ugh. It's um. Well, it's nice. My chilies are happy about it, but uh, the studio we work in is an attic room, so it's very, very hot. We don't have air conditioning because you just don't have air conditioning in the UK, except for in supermarkets, pretty much, uh, or hotels. So it gets a bit hot and the paint behaves very badly, <laughs> which is very annoying. Amanda! Oh. A silly screen. 2 p.m. in Indiana. Rainy. Is it warm and rainy or cold and. Actually, I, I can't imagine it'd be cold this time of year. Even with the weird weather we've been having. Oh look, it's the same nose that I always do. <laughs> oh, what you've been up to, Isabel? If you can share, of course. I mean, obviously, <laughs> you don't have to. Right, now I'm going to go for big brush. Um, it's all come off the marks, the, uh, the lettering off this, but this is a Rosemary & Co and it is um, series three, where is it, three, four, four. 
uh, and it's, this is a 12 so it's quite big I've got some really big brushes like this stupid thing but I mean I never paint that big and there's no way of painting that big at the moment in this uh, heat because it's just all going to dry before I can because I like my wet and wet so I'm going to do the box I'm just going to um, do a nice wash on that warm and not muggy that's good it's kind of a bit muggy here um, but that's kind of normal UK heat <laughs> it's usually muggy but I don't think we're going to get any rain I think now that the, the warmth is here which is brilliant because um, it's been it was like having a six month long winter well not longer than six months but it's cold for so long um, but yeah now that it's here I think we're just going to not get any rain <laughs> which is a bit dull hi Jerry from Montana that's a beautiful state you're in state yes state gorgeous I've never been but I've only been to Arizona driven through New Mexico and what's the next one along anyway drove, drove from uh, Arizona to Oklahoma when I was 20 years old which is a long time ago I'm 44 now okay so what I've done <coughs> I've got to remember to sort of say what I'm doing because obviously maybe that's part partly the point <laughs> of doing a live thing so I've wet all that I'm going to wet it a bit more because it's already drying because it's so hot in here and then I'm going to grab some pigment I'm using I can't actually remember what it is but they're both granulating pigments and I'm just going to plop it all on and I don't care about um, it looking nice I just want nice texture which the paint does for me <coughs> excuse me uh, and then I can just do detail it um, when it's dry and whilst it's still wet I can sort of lift bits as well um, I might lift a bit of that doesn't really look box coloured at the moment but hey it doesn't matter I can always undo that because it's a light wash lots and lots of layers that is the way I like it Ooh, I'm, I'm painting over the th this way up. I've, I've got a this way up sign on the box and I've just painted over it. I might have to... I don't know what I'm going to do about that because I can't see it now. <coughs> and I have to wing it at some point but that's also normal. Just have a bit of a wing. Oh, paperwork, eh? Yeah. Very dull. I still haven't done my tax return. Which is very boring. I'm just going to turn this guy a little bit. And I think I might have to make, get a smaller brush because when it gets, gets near the hair here I'm going to want to be really fine so let's get my little brush if I don't get the hairs right I mean I think I'm going to make him he's going to be a sort of bluey a grey bluey because it's a warm coloured box so I didn't really want him to be a bright colour um, but I'm also quite aware that certainly the hairy monsters seem to all be quite um, quite natural colours, browns and stuff. Okay, 
Okay, so whilst that's still wet, I'm going to get a little bit more pigment and just do some nice little blotches here and there. Wet, wet in wet technique is probably my favourite just because you can get all these nice effects with the paint which you just can't get otherwise Hi Andy, thank you Okay, I'm going to have to get the hair dryer out in a minute folks because then I can get, get going on his, on the creature base. Right, hold your ears. here is this bit was wetter that bit dried out too much so when I hair dried that it all goes bloop and bleeds in there now I could make that look like wet cardboard box but I don't know I might just lift it I'm not sure yet but let's do the little guy next I'm gonna go to my size 8 Rosemary & Co series 344 the reason I really like these ones are they're, it's just a, a simple round, it's a round pointed brush, but it's just a little bit longer. So even with a bigger brush, I've got loads of detail that's possible on these. They're also synthetic. Um, I gave up using Sable and now I actually prefer the synthetic, the way it, um, the way it behaves. It holds a bit more water <coughs> and it lasts a lot longer and it's much much cheaper and you're not using poor little sables because I don't think they have a very nice end oh, this weather is a pain it's not it's not behaving the colors the uh, the paint at all it's drying very quickly Um, I think, I think I'm going to leave like his front, like a bib, white, because then that will um, show up his feet nicely. And uh, talking of feet, let's do the feet next. Obviously, they've got to be a little bit pinkish, because why not? Um, I pretty much go go for the same feet <laughs> in most of these little guys. Um, I don't really know why. This is the most boring bit, I'm afraid. The doing the flat colour. Hi Renan. So many people watching, it's quite nerve wracking. <coughs> I 
<coughs> Excuse me. Okay, pink little tits. Titsy tits. Maybe a little bit dark, but his toes are going to be dark, dark, dark. Like probably black, possibly. Um, but I think as a contrast against a white. Oh, do you know what I should have done? shouldn't do these next. I should be doing the hair behind him, but it'll be alright. This is the problem with do <laughs> doing stuff live, is I'm not really, I'm not really able to think in the same way I normally do, because I'm sort of trying to think of telling you guys what I'm doing as well. I'm also very glad that the live stream has worked because I did have a quite disastrous failure at uh, making the live stream work on for my patrons last month. Last month or the month before? Oh, so bad. Just kept, yeah, I didn't know what I was doing. Now I know what I'm doing? Vaguely. I mean, I don't. Nobody knows what they're doing. But you know what I mean? I managed to get this going live on air. That's the main thing. Okay, so pink tootsies and then obviously pink nose. Duh. I don't know why I like the pink noses so much. It's so cute. Oh, I quite like the short nose there. Let's just smooth that out. I'm often picking up water from the glass. Um, to blend out little bits like, like this bit. I don't want it to be a, a hard edge, so just blend it out a little bit. <coughs> Excuse me. A bit of a frog in the old throat. Pink ears as well. I should show you guys the creature I was working on today as well. Possibly. You know what I forgot to do? I forgot to put the link in the uh, Kickstarter, which is very stupid. So I'm going to do that now. <laughs> so give me a moment, folks. I will be back in a snap. Um, copy that. Copy that. There we go. That wasn't too bad. What a plonker. Oops. Right. Hmm, what next? I think I'll keep that brush. I might even 
get a little bit of sparkle in this guy. So I'm using um, a neutral grey colour and Payne's grey for this chap. Um, actually having put this on this brush it's just too it's too heavy I'm gonna have to go to a thinner brush. This guy's gonna have long eyebrows like the little diddles in my book my other book. Right. So I'm using the brush really lightly and then cleaning it and then whoosh, doing that on the hair there. I think I might have to hair dry that a bit or just move to a different different bit. Fisher Williams, you want a mauve nose? Well, I could make this mauve, actually. Or, well, almost. Do you mean sort of like a purple? I mean, I always think of mauve as a sort of purpley colour, but everyone has different kind of ideas about what different colours are, even. But yeah, we could have a mauve nose. I mean, it would be pinky mauve now, but um, someone asked me once, why do I have my paints to my left? Which is a good point, because it would make more sense to do them to my right. I have no idea. I haven't even thought of it. I think it was mainly down to the setup of my desk here. You're colourblind. Well, so what if I said that this was already mauve nose? You wouldn't be able to say otherwise. It's a bit mean, isn't it? Sorry. Okay, so these are all hairy bits. I don't know how well you can see on your screens um, but with with these hairy guys I literally will go over these these hairy bits over and over and over with different layers and that's how you get a nice fluffy effect at least it works for me Oop, that's not working don't like this hot room business. It's not, it's not very kind on the paints. Damn it! You're right. You do have proof. So I'll probably give him some nice sort of dark tipped ears. I think that'll be kind of cute. Except I've just realized, of course, that this is almost exactly going to be ex almost exactly the same coloring as um, Harold and Floyd so I'm not sure that that's a good thing but hey it 
doesn't matter. Hi Dickie, oh my god, you're in the Himalayas, that is so awesome, what time is it with you? And it's also really awesome that you only found me today. It's very cool. I always wonder how much reach there is on Instagram. I mean, it's, um, you know, you never know when whether people are going to see your stuff. Do I say Dicky or Dicky? I don't know how, I can't ask you. First, The first one, Dicky, or the second one, Dicky. Always difficult to know when you see things written down, like hi hyperbole. I only ever saw it written down, and I didn't realise it was um, not hyperbole because I I read it as hyperbole. <laughs> hi Jan. Oh, it's nearly twenty people. Right, so I've got to be really careful now because I want to get some nice sort of um, feathery little hair markings around his eyes. I mean, I can always go over it with white if I want to later on, but I kind of I like to use the, the white of the paper as much as possible. Hey, but I use um, hair dryer all the time for the watercolour. It's very unusual that it's as warm as it is here <laughs> most of the time. Well, just to speed up the whole process, really. It's useful to have. Hi, neighbour. <laughs> That's weird. I've gone all nervous. It's ridiculous. This is really strange. The whole thing. Lots of people having a little stare. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm going to give this guy like crazy eyebrows like I did with, um, actually, I think Floyd and Harold have crazy eyebrows as well. I kind of basically just want to draw bushy eyebrows, so that's why he's getting them. Makes him a little bit, um, bit more interesting. Almost midnight, play. It's late. I used to be, I used to stay up really late, but I can't do it anymore because I get up too early. <laughs> too old. Right, I think I might have to crack out the uh, hair dryer again. Um, hi, Alan. I'm glad there's so many people here. I thought I didn't know what time, you know, whether to do this on a weekend or I, I figured in the, the evening would be better than in the day because US folks can see it and most of people that back my projects seem to be in the US. Thank you guys. Hi, Melissa. need to smooth out that it's quite useful this this gray is very easy to lift 
I like paint like that because some of, some of the colours I use well actually sometimes it's really annoying if they lift really easily but you know what I mean sometimes it's nice if they're liftable if you want to undo something <laughs> that you don't like right let's uh, What's annoying about it being warm as well, painting wise, is uh, the paint on my palette dries so fast. Normally it's like wet for ages. Hi S Fisher Williams, yes it is going to be available later, I'll just leave it, It'll you'll be able to find it when you come back. Um, so no worries, thank you very much for uh, joining in. I think I might make his tufts a little bit taller as well. I like a nice tall tuft. The only problem with these like super fine hairs I paint is uh, when you scan it and then when I try and clean up the background whoa, it take, it, it's, it's very difficult it's a bit a bit of a pain in the bum Thank you. Yeah, it definitely pays off to do the super fine hairs. There's something very satisfying, like sort of meditative about it as well. brush this is another rosemary and co it's not synthetic unfortunately it is badger apparently but it, she calls it smo a smooshing brush and it's the best lifter and also maker of soft edges that I mean it's like I, I don't I don't know what I do if I didn't have this brush it's been a big part of my development of my technique you know These bits are always a bit fiddly around the mush. Yeah, Alan, I definitely got inspiration from cats, like getting in small spaces, like the one in the bucket as well, Theodore. He might have, of course, this guy, eaten the cat that was in the box. It's possible. He is a monster. But he does look cute. I don't know if he'd eat a cat. Lots of tiny hills. Okay. <laughs> I 
<laughs> career, that's good. <laughs> Imagining a poor squished an angry cat underneath him. <laughs> um, Rose, the brushes I use are all from Rosemary & Co. It's a, she's a UK brush maker, or at least, I don't know if she makes them herself, but um, it's her company and highly recommend them. Um, I don't use old ones, but I keep my old ones for when I need to ruin a brush, which isn't very often. Um, but I have, you know, a couple of brushes that I can use for things that, um, so for instance, acrylic, <coughs> watercolour is not too hard on the brushes, but um, these ones are synthetic and they are the, this is the number four, does, uh, Rosemary & Co. Designer Series 344, and it's my favourite from hers. Um, And these synthetic ones last me a lot longer than uh, Sable used to. And yeah, when the point goes, I just put it in the in the pot of old brushes and, and get a new brush. I mean, they're not they're not very expensive. I mean, I think I think this one's like three quid or thereabouts. I can't remember, but they're not expensive brushes, <clears throat> but they're really good quality. Um, she has another, if she likes sable, she does have sable as well, in the same extra long tip, the designer thingy. That bit's gone a bit crap. Very frustrating the way this is drying. Never mind. We will fix it. Lots of water, lots of water, lots of water. Now, am I going to make his top mush grey and then underneath white? I think so. Any other artists who are watching, do you guys um, like chew your lip or chew your tongue when you're concentrating or make weird faces? Because I do, and I just realised I was doing it just now and I didn't, I don't realise until I chewed through my tongue. Well, not quite, but you know. Um, okay, I'm going to give it a little bit of a hair dry. Let's get that sorted. drying up. It's very annoying. Let's do these feet. Yeah, serious face. It's impossible not to have serious face. Although sometimes, especially when drawing these kind of things, they do make me laugh sometimes, inadvertently. And serious face, you know when you turn your phone on <laughs> and it turns on the camera and you just see lots of chins and a very serious frowny face. It's, uh, 
can be quite horrifying, I find. Karina, I do the exact same thing. Do you find you get sore lips, um, like chapped lips because of that? Because I do. <coughs> Excuse me. Chew my tongue, like press my lips together, sort of pull them in. And uh, frown. I'm not sure that this little bit of arm really works very well. I might bring up his bib so it's higher, so it's not all the way down to his tummy, I think. I'm going to have to turn him round. Go down to there. Yeah, that's better, I think. Damn it, I need to work so bloody fast with this stuff. It's pain in the bottom. Yeah, the birds are... Um, Definitely got more birds in the past year. Oh, I, I think I've just completely bodged what I've just done there. It's all right, because it's going to go over it like a million times with tiny little hairs. Oh, that's annoying. Yeah, I think the birds are all getting ready to go to bed now. So they're quite lively at this time. Now this white chin of his, I'm not going to leave it just as white with no hair. It's going to be like um, the little white hairy one. I think I posted it yesterday. I've actually j just um, packed it up to go to a new owner, I think. Have I? I can't remember. I'll have to check. No, of course I haven't. There he is. Don't think someone's got him. So this little guy, it's white, but it's um, I've you know done hair hair marks on it in a sort of pale colour, neutrally neutral brown. Um, so that's what I'll do with him. This bit's going really annoying. It's very annoying how quickly it's drying. It's 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 behaving very differently. <coughs> Do you want to see Genevieve? I did another one that I haven't posted anywhere, but I thought you guys might like to see. This was a bloody nightmare because it dried so quickly. But um, quite pleased with her. She's maybe not the prettiest, but I think definitely puts a smile on my face so um, yeah that's Genevieve I'll be posting her tomorrow not sure anyway she's going in the book and I've got uh, after this guy just one more 
no two more monsters to do for me and then there's four for the commission tier which makes up to 40 monsters um, which I find out what they're gonna their ideas are gonna be um, when the uh, Kickstarter's finished thank you Jen Yeah, I think Genevieve's de definitely quite sassy. Maybe I should um, play on the Karen meme and do a monster that's um, that's called Karen. Why is this paint doing this? This is annoying. There's also a little bleedy mark here. I don't know. I've got um, the stream in front of me and it looks really, really blurry. I don't know how much um, detail you guys can see. I hope you can see more detail than I can on my screen. One more little foot. Then we've got everything nicely uh, foundations are laid down and then what we're going to do next is some of the box because I can't do the edges and things like this one when, when I've got to do the background um, So once this is done, I'm going to get into the box. Well, I'm not going to get into the box with Hank, but you know what I mean. <laughs> I'm definitely going to look up the Karen. Release the Karen. <laughs> It's weird, isn't it, the way things like that happen, you know, you get um, anyone with the name Karen <laughs> not wanting to be called Karen anymore, probably. <laughs> Yeah, if I do a Karen monster, it's definitely got to be, it's got to look a bit frightening. I, may, I might need to sort of study all those awful videos of those people ruining people's days with their uh, Karening. Get a measure of them for the monster essence, the Karen. Karen Monster Essence or something. <laughs> cell phone. <laughs> See, this is the thing. It's really odd. Like, you say a cell phone, I'm, I'm thinking, oh, well, I, I can't, monster can't have a cell phone. Um, and yet this monster's got a box. But the cell phone comes into, like, dressing it for me. And I've got this weird, totally unconscious rule in my monster making world or creature making world and that is no clothes on monsters and for some reason uh, a cell phone kind of comes in into that for me would be quite, quite funny though wouldn't it <laughs> little pink nose smooth it out what did I just say I was going to do? The box. Doesn't look like it, does it? Okay, slightly bigger brush. Wet the paint again. It's crazy. Mm. 
and a nice dark bit under here. I say nice dark bit, it's not really that dark, but you know what I mean. Um, I'm, uh, I'm all about doing something about 10 times over rather than just going in with the right value straight away. <laughs> Not liking that straight line there, so I'm going to just fade that off. Now, what do I do? Do I write on this way up now? Because as soon as I paint over this, I'm not going to be able to see what I've written there, which is a bit annoying. And I didn't think that through, did I? So much planning went into this, as you can tell. Almost 23 people watching. Hi everyone. Oh. <laughs> I've had so much fun painting like normal objects like uh, the tin can I did yesterday, or well, whenever it wasn't yesterday, whenever it was I did that one with the tin can. And the bucket, the bucket was so fun to paint. Who'd have thought? One of my favourite browns is Van Dyke Brown because I can use it as black. Well, instead of black, I mean. And it's quite a nice, cool, neutral, very dark brown. Hi, Stuart. Thank you very much. Turn upside down and see if I can see. I can hardly see the this way up thing. It doesn't matter. I think if I paint over it, I'm just going to have to very nerve wrackingly um, paint it over at the end. And then if I ruin it, I can't do anything about it. <laughs> Such is the fun of a watercolour. Only so much rescuing I can do. Trying to figure out what colour I'm using. G brown. What's G brown? Don't know. 
Hi Marina, thank you very much. Have I already said that? Sorry if I have. I'm, it's very, it's such a weird experience sort of uh, having to be aware of what, of people typing stuff <laughs> and concentrating on the painting. Oh yeah, I do like doing a glass bottle. I don't think that they're very much um, artistic license glass bottles though. They're not, um, I quite like to do like a proper study of a glass bottle on its own without a monster in it. Because it is, it's, it's a real, it's a fiddly old thing, glass. And with the monsters I have to paint the monster first and then like do a wash of blue or greeny blue over it afterwards which is quite nerve-wracking because it can lift the paint but it's worked so far Some nice texture on this box. So as well as this brown, which I don't know what it is, in fact, I could probably find out if I actually looked at my in my browns box. What do we got here? Ah, it's galaxy brown. This is um schminky and it's just a granulating granulating paint but it's very similar to so the other one I'm using is no it's not that one it's a purple I've got hem hematite um, violet and this is hematite burnt scarlet genuine um, this one is very similar to this galaxy brown um, So yeah, I've got a couple of mixtures going on there. Wet brush, save it. Stuart, I never used to be that organised, but I've got so many um, paints, and I've got so many of each. So I've got I've got reds, blues, greens, pinks, purples, greys, browns, blacks, yellows, and that's it. So the oranges go in the yellows, and the browns, <laughs> sort of, depending on what they are like. What's annoying is some of them don't really last very well. I'll go back to a colour that I haven't used for, for a while and uh, it's gone all rigid, solid or something. It's very annoying. So the Galaxy Brown that I'm using, I highly recommend Schminky. They've got some really nice um, paints, but they've got a really fun range of granulating ones, and they've got a whole load. Um, I've got Galaxy Pink as well, which is really nice. And what's the other one? There's a... Let's see if I can find it. Oh yeah, there's Forest Blue. And that's, I don't know if you can see 
the the image on the top of that it's all granulated it's a very nice one and then there's a there's a pinky one I think tundra rose tundra pink it's really nice I like that one big fan of the granulators oh what have I taken one of my little colours out I've got a couple of um little pans of paint I don't really know how to keep them without them getting dusty so I put them in a little a wee bag uh oh that's just lifted that it's a bit annoying Let's just pop a bit of paint there that'll sort it out might leave the box for a bit again so I can then oh, I'm going to need to do that bit though let's do this bit By the way, in case anyone's wondering why I'm wearing a glove, uh, it's because I've got greasy mitts and if I get my greasy hands on the on the paper, then when I try and paint on it, it doesn't work. So I'm always amazed to see other watercolorists who don't wear gloves. I'm like, how do you, how do you not, how does, how does it work? I mean, maybe they just don't have greasy hands. I have greasy hands. I normally wear them on both hands, but because it's a small picture and I've got no background. So this bit where I've put my fingers, if I tried to paint over that, you'd have a little paint, paint, uh, paint, what? A little finger mark on there. That bit just doesn't want to dry, so I'm going to get the old hairdryer out again. Sorry, gang. bit more on there and then I'm going to go back to our little friend Hank in the box. I'm just going to go over that. I remember Box Trolls. That was really good. I've only seen it once. I need to watch it again. Scott, now I haven't um, used inks for washes because I find inks to be very unforgiving. So I can't s smooth any of the, the edges once they're down. So I, I tend to avoid inks. I like inks, but I mean, I wouldn't mix them uh, with watercolours for what I'm doing, just just because of the way of, like, uh, the way I like to paint, really. I like to be able to undo <laughs> things that I've done, if I can. I mean, some, some pigments, they don't lift at all, but um, 
Yeah, inks are cruel taskmasters. Which also obviously makes them kind of fun as well. Bit of a challenge. Hi, true elf. What is the heat set at when in and uh, when uh, at when utilizing the hairdryer? Do you mean what heat setting on it? Is that what you mean? I await your response. Actually, I don't know why I'm waiting because if I show you this hairdryer, it's literally only got medium and fast. <laughs> it's not, um, I don't have any sort of heat settings on it, it's just a, a travel one. Um, I just turn it on, <laughs> that's, about, that's the heat setting. On or off? Hi Lucy! Hi Jan again. This little monster and my cat Cooper must be soulmates. They both enjoy stuffing themselves into boxes. Yeah. Oh, how hot is the air? Yes, there's heat. It's it's hot. It's you know, there's there's no cold setting on my on my hair dry, hot, hair, hair dryer. Thank you, Isabel. I think it's going to, as, as I said a minute ago, oh, I'm going to go back to the monster in a minute, but I'm kind of a bit hooked on it, on the uh, on the box now. Still got a way to go. Hi, Kate. Uh, yeah, uh, yes, I, I do have my water and my palette on the left. Uh, I think when I set up to, to paint here um, it just made more sense it doesn't make sense I agree you know I'm, I'm reaching across all the time uh, but now that I've had it like that for so long that if I had it on my right I would I'd be all, always reaching over to my left because it's like you know muscle memory now um, yeah I don't really know why I did that I think it's because of this how I set up my table here um, so yeah, doesn't make much sense, does it? There's a little bit I've missed down here. Scott, I haven't done any monsters and matchboxes yet, <coughs> but that's quite a good idea. I want to be very careful not to give too much sort of impression of human intervention or them being in part of, I don't know, I've, I've got a funny thing about, I don't know, having human things in their world, but of course, cardboard box is a human thing, so I've got to just let go of that silly idea. You're not the first person to ask Kate about the uh, everything being on the left. 
when I'm right-handed. Doesn't make any sense. Maybe when I um, when we move house, whenever that happens, uh, I'll set it up on my right, and and if it's in a new place, it might feel a bit different. So I can then train myself the right right way right away round. Lucy, yeah, no, I don't use, I use board, so this is quite thick. Um, I used to stretch paper, but it just, it doesn't take the amount of water that I use. So whilst this is more expensive, um, the way I like to work, and I, it just, it, it behaves differently as well, somehow. Um, so yeah, I've, I've kind of got into the illustration board. My favourite illustration board is Strathmore 500, but this is Langton, or Langtons, Langton or Langtons, um, and it's the, the the great thing about the the Strathmore is you can paint on on the other side. So whilst it's more expensive, if you cock it up, you can <laughs> you can paint on the other side as long as you haven't put your greasy mitts on it though, which I often do. So. But with this Langton stuff, um, yeah, it doesn't have another side for painting on, so it's okay. Oh yeah, actually, I've, I've, okay. I'm, I take it you've probably just heard me say what the board was, because um, I think there's a delay on the, you know, internet. Um, but uh, I also use, I do use watercolor paper. However, it's like 600 GSM, so it, it's almost, um, well, it is card but it's not as thick as this, you know, it's, it's kind of flexible, um, but it does stand up to this abuse. So I use that as well. But I think I, I really like using the, the board as well, because it, it almost it helps it be more, I don't know, robust or protected somehow. I don't think it is, but it feels like it is. Right, what next? Let's do some more creature. Let's get his little tootsies done. Definitely going to go back to that. That box needs a lot more work. So I might do another half an hour and then probably going to stop. I hope that's all right with everybody. foot let's get figure out the outside of it kind of sort of yeti foot esque I would say ish yeah you should totally try the board 
especially if um, watercolour paper scares you. <laughs> Panagiota, is that how I say your name? Probably not. Um, I haven't, I hadn't planned on doing any bird type creatures actually, um, which is weird because they pop up all the time in my uh, in Strange Hollow. But <laughs> um, for some reason, I hadn't thought of it as a as a monster option. But actually, it would work really well as a monster, I think. Um, yeah. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. It'll depend on a few things. Oh, good. Phew. I didn't know whether, whether the G was soft or hard. Now, is that all? I've got to do something up behind here. Get a bit more hair detail. Trying to get that light against dark against light against dark thing going on. It's very tricky. And of course, down here needs to be really dark. I think most things sound a bit weird in English, don't they? Because, I don't know, yeah, it, I always, I mean, I have, I've, I've never even, I don't know if I've even heard Greek spoken. I must have done on TV maybe, but, um, yeah, we tend to uh, butcher languages here in, in the UK sometimes. Oops. So we've got little fluffy legs, I think that needs to be even darker, and whilst it's still wet I'm going to put a tiny bit of lamp black, lamp black is uh, one of my favourite blacks, it is um, neutral so it's not, it's not cool, actually I suppose it could be cool with it being neutral but unlike ivory black which is a bit slightly warmer um, I find it a bit more useful Rose, I might have some board, like little cuttings of board, if you want to try it out before you buy it, um, that you could grab. I think I've got a couple in my in my drawer. So if you fancy that, you would be welcome to having some. I don't know that I know how um, a French person would say your name, Isabel. I can't, I can't, uh, 
auditor auditorily no that's not a word I can't imagine it in my head not not that that's surprising but I, it was the la the one language we learnt at school but I only know very small amounts of it Isabel, do you mean your surname or your or your first name or both? Because I N is oh, isn't it in French? Is that right? <laughs> Going to totally embarrass myself. Both, okay. Because we'd say Olgren. Or at least I would say Olgren if I was not thinking about it being um, from a specific place. Isabel, you should send me a um, Facebook message, a voice message, <laughs> and how to pronounce your name. Thanks, Karina, and um, thank you very much for watching. Have a lovely rest of your day. I'm going to go and flop on the sofa in a minute because my back is a bit sore from painting today. Because I don't put things on an easel, I'm constantly like craning my neck. <laughs> which is, it's not very good, but that's just the way the way I paint so when I used to do pastels I used to do pet portraits um, I always had it on an easel and, and I was standing but the idea of well I don't I, the way I paint wouldn't or the way I paint with watercolors wouldn't work if it was upright wouldn't be able to get some of the effects that I get Thanks, Rose. Um, just pop by or you know WhatsApp me uh, if you want to come and pick up some uh, illustration board bits. They're only small bits, but um, you're welcome to them. So uh, give me a WhatsApp, and I will sort that out for you.
they say all green with like a with an e on the end that's weird do you think that's because they they're trying to imagine what it's like in french is it all all grand <laughs> is that right it's been a long time since i've tried to speak french Now I'm going to leave the toes until the end because I want to make them black and if I if I do anything around them hair wise then it's going to rub it off because the, the black lifts really easily which is very annoying um, And with these bits here, so I want to have like little hairy bits on the foot. I will be fixing that with a mixture of gouache. But that's going to be like final, final bits. So you guys won't be seeing that. Because there's a few hours left in this little guy. Is it al al grand al grand? Because <laughs> I remember I N is en, isn't it? En. Uh, that sounds more like con. Because we would, us Brits would say instead of con, we'd say can, <laughs> which is not correct. Because of course, it's not the Can Film Festival. It's Normandy. Ah, lapin. Petit lapin. But then I expect um, you also get uh, if you say lapin, they'll go lapin. I love French. I wish, I mean, it's just impossible to sort of, if you're not speaking it, if you're not in a place where you can speak it, it's it's just really difficult. I used to go to a really nice French convention in Normandy, in Caen, and we were always there from Friday to Monday or something like that, but it was by the Sunday evening, I was starting to feel less embarrassed about trying to speak French. And when you're around everyone speaking French, it's so much, like I understand more than I can speak. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm nowhere near a competent French speaker. <laughs> Interesting, Isabel, when uh, sometimes when I'm, someone asks what my name is, my surname, usually like delivery guys, and when I'm spelling it out, I'll say hair as in rabbit. So I should tell, I should I should say hair as in oh no, hair is um, lièvre. Is that right? Uh, I should say it hair like lapin. They'll be like what? What are you talking about?
I used to learn, there was a really good um, DVD and the guy was called M Michel Thomas um, and his, the beginning of his DVD, not DVD, uh, CD, <laughs> he would say there are 1400, um, 1400 of our words or 1500 of our words in French or in English rather, <laughs> are exactly the same as French, but um, the guy, the quote that he got it from, the guy said they're just pronounced badly <laughs> in English. I thought it was quite funny. But when you start recognising uh, the similar words, it's it's really cool. But it's the, it's the placement of... I've been watching all these old Poirot um, episodes which, if you don't know, is a TV series in the 90s. Um, and the actor was David Suchet, and he um, played this Belgian detective from Agatha, Christ Ad Agatha, uh, Agatha Christie. And um, when he speaks English, he, he, he places, like, his sentences are sometimes the way round it would be in French. I can't think of an example now, but um, I thought it was quite a nice touch. As you can see, there's a lot going on here. <laughs> Just doing the feet. Oh, it's so hot in here, it's unbelievable. Okay, guys, I'm going to give it about five more minutes and then I'm going to huge her off. And I will post this guy that the video will be, not that you guys are interested because you're already watching, but the video will be up on YouTube. I think it automatically saves, at least I hope so be really annoying if it didn't. Um, so yeah, that'd be quite fun. And the next time I'm doing one of these, it will be for my patrons over on Mysterious Corner. So now the hair gets really kind of intense at this, po at this point and probably pretty boring for you guys to watch so it's probably just as well. Let me stop there. It's totally worth it though Isabel with the, the multiple hairs because then they look super fuzzy. I don't know how I would I actually don't know how I would do it if I wasn't doing it like this, <laughs> like with hair. Am I using any masking fluid? No, I am not. Um, I generally don't use it because um, it rips the paper. Every time I've tried to use it, it's damaged the paper and if I do use it sometimes I'll do it sort of block out the eyes um, but yeah no just because there's no background I don't need to worry about it um, so yeah it's I mean it's um, I've transferred the sketch onto the paper so I don't I don't draw 
draw the creature on the paper. So what I've done to show you is that's the sketch. Oops. Um, and it's got blue around it because I then put uh, graphite all over the back of the paper. So it's le then like carbon paper. I then stick, I've got some tape there, I stick that to the board. I then get my tiny uh, <laughs> Colorase pencil and the reason I use a coloured one is so I know where I've gone. Um, draw around it and then I've got a little transferred um, pencil drawing and I don't have to worry about as soon as I start erasing um, on this board it can really damage the paper <coughs> so I've sort of started I started doing this a couple of years ago I think now um, the only problem with it is you don't get that sort of super flowy kind of thing with sketches but it's just the way I do it so um, the other thing I was going to say is it's gone I can't remember I was going to say something else but that's that's how I transfer my little little creatures so I then got a guideline um, and it's pretty easy to stay within the lines I mean I try and I start with the, the little fine hairs so uh, it tends to so and I'll do it really 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 light so um, it's not too not too difficult to go over it if I need to that kind of thing um, but yeah but yeah if you find if you found like sketching on the paper when you're doing watercolor and then um, rubbing it out with an eraser and then you go to paint on it that bit of paper that you've erased especially if you you know you do it a few times as we know with with pencil that can happen um, you then it then makes the paper very odd to paint on it's not very good so that's why I stopped doing it I do it if I'm sketching and like not not feeling precious about it but um, yeah True Elf, I do have a Twitch channel actually, um, but I'm not I'm not planning on um, doing live streams as a regular thing because it's 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 very difficult to concentrate and talk at the same time. Obviously, if I did it more often, it would be easier. But um, I do one live stream a month on my. Um, on my membership but yeah I did start to try and do some twitch streams but yeah it, it's not uh, I can't concentrate enough on the paintings really that's why I would never like finish painting on on here because I, I just need need to be able to take breaks so now I'm gonna finish now actually put the brush down um, I need to be able to look at this again in the morning so I then see all the things that I want to change or well, not change but um, work on because uh, I'm not able to sort of for whatever reason I'm, my brain's working in a very different way when I'm talking to you guys so I prefer not to not to do lives but occasionally um, yeah it's uh, it's all right um, the if you look on on Twitch, the 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 handle is Art by Emily Hare, I think. Um, let's have a look. Hang on a second. Where is it? Oh, what's this? <laughs> Weird, the things you find when you type in your name. I can't find it. <laughs> um, but I'm not likely to do any. Own, uh, I'm not likely to do any twitches. I'm afraid. Um, if I do do lives again, 
publicly not in my membership then it'll be on here because uh, it's the easiest for me to set up um, and I know how it works and all that kind of thing so and plus it means that I've got um, the video is saved on YouTube automatically because I've, I've it's it's very you know the whole editing side of um, videos is an absolute nightmare so that is it so thank you to everybody who has turned up it's been very exciting and I hope everybody wherever you are has a lovely rest of the day it is now 22 9 p.m for me so it's time for me to have a little wind down and then go to bed at some point so um thank you so much and i will see you guys on the social media probably um i hope you enjoyed it and uh i'm now going to try and figure out how to turn it off Thank you.